Hello, and welcome back to Cake Gully, a Dwarf Fortress Let's Play from Mike of Nearly Enough Dice. Uh, the slow and gradual uh, resurrection of Cake Gully continues. At least I hope it's, that's where we're going. And I paused my game last time because human merchants have arrived. It's so probably not that important in the scheme of things. But there are now human merchants. And I can offload some junk. Uh, da, 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 da. So I've got lots of junk now to, um, to offload. Now this does mean that I'm going to have to uh, change the Dwarf Therapist settings. Well, I don't have to do this via Dwarf Therapist, there, there are other ways of doing it, but uh, this is the way I'm going to. Um, because trade hauling is a separate thing. And so I'll just assign trade hauling to everyone. And I'll unassign it when, I'm, when we're done. Well, maybe just leave it on. Because obviously if there's no trade hauling to be done, then there's no particular bother. That's unpause. There's no particular bother in uh, having the trade um, trade hauling uh, labour on. As I get more dwarves, assuming I get more dwarves, uh, then we will be uh, looking into things like that. And uh, we'll be deciding maybe, you know, dedicated haulers and all that kind of good stuff. But uh, that's a little bit in the future. There's probably very few things that I actually need need, given that, uh, quite frankly, the fortress is overrun with, with gear. Uh, you know, a population of 215, and there's now only a population of 15. Oh, and I don't have a broker. Oh, that's irritating. Well, I do have a broker, but... Um, my broker does not will not have the broker skill yet because they've not had time to sit down and just do the sums and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So that's uh, possibly not a huge amount of point in, in doing some actual trading. I also want to be cautious and only trade relatively low value things. I still, I'm still hope that I'll be able to make this gateway into the mountain home. And in order to do that, I need to give away goods to the Dwarven trade caravan. Quite a lot of goods, so I've been making like silver crafts and stuff. I should really be making steel crafts and stuff because it's, steel is just so much more expensive. Uh, silver, you know, you, I've ranted about this before, but you, you'd think silver would be more important than, and more valuable than steel, but no. Gold is more valuable than steel, but in terms of the, like, what you'd expect to be the precious metals, now steel is steel is in fact much better than most of them. So, what I what I really want to do is uh, make steel crafts. But I had sort of other things I was going to make with steel, but I probably don't need to make them uh, just yet. Uh, I'm going to have to train up an actual proper metalsmith at some point. But uh, that may well be very long. I don't see anyone doing any actual uh, trade, uh, hauling for trading, so there you go. Oh no, some couple of things are already there. Maybe they're already there to begin with, I don't know. That seems unfair. That seems an unfair categorization. I mean, for all I know, they, they went there immediately and did the thing immediately, and they're very good. Uh, grieving. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, yeah. I don't know if they're grieving for anyone in particular, or just kind of go, There's so many dead people! <laughs> there are so many! All over the place. I can, you know... I get that they're not having the best of days. Poor dwarves. Oh, there's so much blood everywhere. You can barely tell where the walls... You know, there's actually a door there, but it's just a solid lump of red for all the bits of dwarf scattered around everywhere. Oh dear me. I wonder if I should set this back into being a dining room. At the moment, they're going downstairs. Into the, admittedly, you know, the, the downstairs dining room is, is a legendary dining room and, and, and has lovely things in it. But it's a longer walk. 
And there's all the dead bodies in the world down there. Uh, which is not good, really. Uh, did I get that? Speaking of the dining room, which is here. Did I ever get that Liverpool? I think it looks like I did. Um, F7? Yes. So, the lower caverns are now um, blocked off, which is good. So I don't know if that, that, that looks very much like a fortification symbol, but I don't know if it actually is a fortification symbol. There is a forgotten beast who I think is in this set of caverns somewhere. Um, all the other forgotten beasts are in the set of caverns that are way up here. So this is, this is minus 38. Uh, so 38 below Z, and uh, down here, minus 122, this is the second set of caverns. Uh, which has all, you know, awesomely large amounts of, of silk and stuff to grab. And, in fact, there was a loom. It's probably gone now. Um, one of the many things that got smashed. There was a loom down here for, for easy web gathering for silk. But, uh, yeah, it's best to just... And I don't have a military at the minute, so I, there's, just, there's just no reason to do anything like that. Um, to have that open. Uh, what with for, for Forgotten Beasts and all that down there, that'll be a bad thing. I have to say, these traders kind of are going to be watching folk wandering past with, you know, body parts and uh, things just going, yeah, don't mind us. Don't mind us. Uh, right, let's have a look what is in things have been, I'll ask the trader, he's giving water, that's slightly worrying, and giving water implies that someone's not well, um, um yeah, <laughs> I'll leave the worker won't, I mean, I do have, uh, an infirmary down here, but, um, oh, there's, 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 a uh, someone who's not dead, pretty much everyone in the infirmary died. Um, the problem is when when your entire fortress riots at one go, then yeah, the medical folk, the medical establishments. Uh, how did you get hurt? Wait a minute, hang on. What injured you? Oh, you horrible individual. This is a problem. Yeah, okay, ghosts are a problem. Ghosts are a big problem. Well, that, that could signal the end of that. Well, okay, that could just be the end of the fortress as a whole of ghosts are going around battering people to death, which they appear to be doing. I did I did quite fine. I, I, the, the, these two together it was quite hilarious. You know, Solon uh, Nikuz Kadol, you know, cancels store item and stockpile to injured, and immediately Solon Nikuz Kadol has been found dead. Just instantly. But, uh, that's slightly irritating. By slightly, I mean extremely. Because the ghosts are going around just, you know, basically murdering uh, the few dwarves I do have, and that's going to be very inconvenient indeed. Oh well. Not a lot I can do about it. Oh, okay, human mercenaries, okay. 
not a lot I can do about it. Um, check hold bat. The bug bat. Mm. Fighting a forgotten beast. Can I zoom to the location? Yeah. So this is minus 134. Entrance is like um, uh, the, the, the entrance is minus one twenty two. So mm. there we go. I wonder if there's some vague hope that the human mercenaries will smack the occasional ghost. I don't know if they really can. Um, I've had a couple of cases where you know incoming caravan guards have dealt with the problem for me. Um, I've had, a, I mean, in the long life of Gate Gully, there's really only been a couple of sieges. Uh, there was some undead turned up, and we just kind of turtled and just let them get on with it. Um, pretty much, we did. We just don't need the outside world that much. I mean, there's trees and that, but we now have, we have got access to underground trees if we really need them. Um, there were, there was a were buffalo that did some damage, but again, just turned and, and left it. Um, I think that was the one that was killed by some guards. I can't remember. It's been so long. Um, and there, were, yeah, so it's undead and a were beastie. That's pretty much all that's happened. We haven't had a proper siege at all. Um, I mean, in theory. Uh, it, it, it is broken now, but there was a bridge here, so in theory, you know, I, I just closed that one bridge. Dwarves can still get up into this area and onto a firing platform, and you just murderate uh, anything around them. But that's just never come into being. Um, similarly, I made, when I walled this area off, I made this all fortifications just in case, but uh, again, that's never really been helpful. Uh, until the Great Kakapo riots, I actually had uh, a fairly good military, I thought. Orchids out in steel. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. I want to go here. Uh, they're all kitted out in steel, and they're pretty gnarly. Um, like, I had hammer lords and, and that kind of thing, and legendary monks wars. Yeah, just, just the kind of thing you want. And, uh, you know, it was pretty cool. I was actually thinking about deliberately hunting down some of the Forgotten Beasts. But then the Kakamo Riots occurred, and then it was like, oh dear. And everybody died. Oh, I've got a new mayor. Right. Um, where am I? Where are my noble cause? stuff. Here we go. So, uh, name, did I name it? Anyway, you can have, you can have this lot. Ah, uh, yeah, see, this is, this was originally the, the mayor's bedroom. Yeah, I think Captain Guard's actually this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, never mind, don't care. Um, now you're happy. Hurrah. Got everything you need. I have to admit, my first thought when I saw that someone had been elected mayor, my, thought, my immediate thought was, oh god, that means that uh, my cell survivors died. That must be the, that's the only possible reason it could be. Just a moment ago, have they left? Mm. 
that is weird. I wonder if they'd be killed by something, or they they just have. To, there's nothing. I mean, there's nothing saying that. Um, plant barrel. I am suspicious of there being a plant barrel there. curious as to why there's all of a sudden no merchants in here. Wagon wood logs, that's worrying. No, I'm not seeing. It's very strange. The merchants have just... Uh, that does seem to happen from time to time. Merchants just disappear. Um, yeah, that, there's no message of them leaving. There's no remains of them. Um, check the... Check the units menu. Merchants are. They have just left. But there's there's nothing I didn't see anything that was saying that they were leaving. That is very odd. I'm gonna have a quick look for I'm having a quick look, f look for forbidden things because occasionally, what will happen is what what has happened is I'll, you know, I'll get a a big pile of forbidden things, and they are very clearly the remains of merchants, but uh, that's not happening. So I don't know where those merchants have gone. They have just disappeared. These guys seem to be hanging out. They're not moving anywhere. How bizarre. But I think these water buffalo are merchant water buffalo, not my own water buffalo. And then there's the, the wagon wood logs. That is so weird, I do not know what's happened here. So there's some good spins. Apparently, there, there seems to think if, if a good spin or whatever is, is in there and no one's, um, and, and and they haven't moved it by the time the traders have you know, sold off, then um, they don't seem to move things out of the trade depot while merchants are to there. I was hitting DC, and I don't know what I was, instead of DB, I was hitting DC, and I don't know why, and I don't know what DC does. Um, auto chop, oh, okay, that might, this might be a, um, uh, a DF hack thing, but I've not, I've not seen this before. I actually always wanted some kind of auto chop setting. Um, you know, you have the thing where, you, where, like, if you've got great big stores that say limonite, you can just say, smelt with lim limonite, so I, I always have like 30 uh, spare iron ore, and every time, um, you know, I need more iron ore, you know, every time I need more iron. 
then they'll, they'll just smell more. Um, but I don't have a way of saying, you know, go and find me some limonite. Whenever I've run, when I've, when I'm, if I'm low on limonite, go get some limonite. And I don't have a way of saying, um, if I'm low on wooden logs, go chop me down a tree. I have to, you know, keep track of that. Um, spider silk is probably would have been a better example than limonite. I don't know why I said limonite. Spider silk would be better as long as there's a spider silk on the map. Um, I can actually say, you know, make sure there is always this much spider silk. You actually, this, there's, a, there's this much spider, there's, there's this much silken thread in the fortress using the workflow DF hack plugin. I can say that. And, you know, when I go below whatever value I've decided to go for, they will go and they'll select. They'll go grab some spider silk, which they wouldn't, which they wouldn't do otherwise. So an auto chop thing might be nice. I'm wondering if that's a DF hack thing. Um, nope, that's not DF hack. See, that's not really. There's a lot of things in here. Uh, auto farm. You can see there. Chop allows automatic tasking of trees. So help auto chop. So there you go. Auto opens the automated chopping control screen. There you go. Mm. So it looks like it's a DF hack thing. And it seems to get from the des de the designate me men menu and then see how oh, the auto chop dashboard. Things I didn't know. There's always so much stuff about Dwarf Fortress that is just unknown. Uh, like Vanishing Merchants. That's very weird. Uh, I just, I mean, I've had this happen. I think I'm pretty sure I've had this happen at least once before. But there was some kind of something left behind. Um. like stuff that dwarves have uh, dropped and left behind rather than anything else. So. Mysteries within mysteries, it's all very strange. Uh, corpse pile is growing nicely. Nothing like an enormous corpse pile uh, to make your dwarf fortress happier. I'm surprised none of my, my current tools have just gone, not gone just loopy. Uh, they've gone through an awful lot of emotional trauma, poor things. Um, if I just reload the tools and then look at happiness. Oh, oh, give it up. That. So, someone's actually unhappy. I think they're sustain major injuries. That must be the person downstairs. Um, when is death disgusted by me as much? So, mm, some fights, quite content. Some of the kids are happy. Um, yeah. The the kids are the yes the 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 finally the. The buildings and, and the, the fine architecture it seems to be saving a few people. I just saw a message flick by. Uh, no, I don't think anything. No, I don't know what that was. I thought it was something down here that needed my attention, but no, it doesn't seem that way. Such a mess. Well, I, was, I was really looking forward to doing some trading. Still on the uh, on the screen. 
No, they've left. All I have now. Uh you know, I really do need to do something about the the fact that the downstairs is open. I'm hoping there's no actual monsters. I have noticed there's a great big gaping hole here. Therapist is another thing I don't really understand that well. <sighs> Emotional shock. So I was quite pleased with my little uh, magma area down here. That sounds a bit rude, my magma area. Um, you know, oh, the original plan was to actually, you know, burrow some people down here so that the, that everything would be. They would just live down here, so they've got food stockpiles, and they've got um, some quantum stockpiles here of things that they need. There's a thing here, there's a special stockpile here that is actually, um, there's actually a dumping mechanism. But there's a there's a, a dump that uh, goes all the way up the fortress, all the way up to negative uh, seven here. I should probably turn this off, uh, but then my dwarves won't be. Um, at least they shouldn't be hauling things. So basically, things get hauled down here and dumped down there, and then they fall all the way down onto a hatch and then there's a lever to, you know, open the hatch. And I was kind of pleased with all that, but uh, now it's all kind of pointless. Well, for the moment it's kind of pointless. Uh, if I ever get to the stage of being able to get more dwarves in, then it might be possible to, to resurrect them. But basically, I want there to be something down there to stop the fire imps getting in. Because we did have a, a magma crab. Uh, and this is back in the day when I had a working military set. So I had the, the magma crab um, actually got spanked quite quickly. There's probably still some magma crab cakes or biscuits or roasts or whatever they make, stews, I think, um, around. That's quite convenient. So growing, growing food, that's good. I mean, I've got lots of food, I probably, everything's fine. But, I mean, I, do, I just feel safer when there's, you know, working farms. You don't have to lose too many fortresses to starvation before you start wanting to get farms up and running as soon as you can. And brewing, brewing. Um, although I don't, I mean, I've got. I think I'm okay for drinks. Yeah, and my food stores are not are not too bad. 
so even with uh, the fact that no one's cooking anything that we should be okay for a little while those missing merchants are going to bug me they really are I would, I would expect there to be some big pile of, of goods. The problem that, well, I, I, this may or may not arise, um, because I don't know if the merchants just left, or if they did in fact just disappear, but from the point of view of the civilization, the actual humans, they may, they, they literally just, they look at how much stuff did we send those dwarves and how much stuff did we get back? And they don't take into account things like, uh, well, that caravan got eaten by a monster outside before they even got to the fortress. They just think, we sent this many goods and we got, we didn't get anything back, therefore, you know, the, the trading uh, is bad and we shouldn't do it. And uh, if merchants mysteriously disappear, I don't know if they then count as, you know, did, did they get back to civil, their civilization or did they just die? And I really don't know what happens there. But corpses are getting hauled outdoors, which is good. Uh, I don't think anyone's making any coffins, which is slightly irritating. Because of uh, nothing's happening here. Just standing here, just not doing anything. I have no. Oh, well, I've got some coffins. Got some coffins. Buying some, I've got. I mean, two. Two will do. Add two coffins. Although I don't think anyone's got furniture awnings, and that might just stay there forever. But looks like somebody's making coffins. That is going to be a long, long, long haul to making coffins. But it's got to be done. Ah, oh, dearie me. At least I know I don't ever have to make another bedroom. I've dug out, I'm pretty sure I've dug out enough bedrooms for there to be. I, I had actually, when I had 215 dwarves, I actually was at a stage where there were uh, two. Uh, I had I had bedrooms going spare, so it was, it was all good. There goes my corpse pile. Wow, my corpse pile goes well. I probably may well I may well have to make another corpse pile. Uh, or what am I doing? Let's just open these up to corpses. Possibly he just got ghosted to death. I mean, that, that's the most likely explanation. Ooh, what about for those? Now, yeah, the only way, real way to, to get some idea of um, 
how they died is to engrave a slab, but no one's engraving slabs, even though I'm sh pretty sure we've got a stone craft to set up. Um, I'm trying to work out at what point I want to move from and get the corpses out of the fortress and uh, move to get all the slabs engraved to put the ghosts down. Uh, moving, moving the. Uh, Making uh, you know these things coffins. That's what they're called. Um, waiting for furniture hauling. Let's turn on furniture hauling. What the hell? Furniture hauling will be down this way. There shouldn't be that much furniture hauling. me, yeah, kind of hoping for things. Um, yeah. Too much to do, and not enough dwarves to do it. Um, it's going to be a lot of mess for a long time. Even, you know, oh yeah, obviously I really, I mean, I really, really need to get those corpses out, that's the main thing. Um, it looks like the miasma has died down. Um, I should possibly... I wonder if I can do clever things and just make... The, not drag these teeth, but I think these teeth do just count as corpses. Um, because they'll be putting teeth... Uh, into into this corpse pile as well. I mean, this, that's just a corpse pile, it's nothing else. So, I can only see that everything's... That's what they're doing there. There's teeth count as corpses, uh, and, and if that's the case, what can you do? I've got some planting going on. This is rye, mostly used for brewing. Uh, might be a while before we get onto that. Yeah. So now there are just corpses being dumped everywhere. <laughs> I think I'm going to cut this episode a little bit short um, by about approximately two minutes. Um, normally, go for, I normally aim for 40 minutes and then, then kind of get a bit stuck. But there's not a lot I can do right now. This, this is, again, wait until something interesting happens. I think it's going to be the order of the day. So, uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe if, if this video has moved you to do such a thing um, and you can also find us at www.nearlyenoughdice.com which is our role playing game themed podcast and blog and I do hope you'll join me again for more Gate Gully related shenanigans um, I can desperately hope that I'm just definitely hoping I get more immigrants because the more immigrants I get the, the better everyone's going to get um, Oh, don't cancel constructing the building, you horrible man. Um, though they're just inactive, it's not actually... Okay, cool. Um, I understand your grief. Uh, is there a dwarf labour for grief counselling? If not, there should be. Uh, anyway, uh, until next time, please do have yourselves a very dwarfy day.